In this ever-changing economic landscape, business owners have had to think on their feet and be ready to adapt at a moment's notice. Needless to say, the ones that were unable to adapt quickly enough were unlikely to have their businesses survive. This young entrepreneur hailing from Point Fortin has, however, used the angst he has had toward the traditional barbershop since he was a child as the soil bed for his innovative and disruptive ideas to be planted, tended, watered, and made to blossom. Hi, I'm Kyle Marshall. I'm the owner and founder of Kyle Cuts Mobile Barbering Services. So I've been doing this business at least six years now with, with Audi bus. But I've only this year I've started um, using the vehicle as a mobile, fully mobile, with the uh, barbering bus itself. So when I was young, as a kid, I hated going to the barber shop on Saturdays when everybody watching cartoon. My mom would send me and my brother to the barber shop eight o'clock in the morning, and we would be leaving the barber shop at least like three o'clock in the afternoon. And for me, that was like torture. And like all the cartoon already finished. You know, and for me, I always say, like in business, you find a problem, and to me, like this was the solution. Kyle soon realized that if this was a problem for him, it was likely a problem for others too. This gave him an indication of the clientele he should target and how his business could be the answer they were looking for, as he could render his services anytime and anywhere. Uh, businessmen who will be occupied or preoccupied with stuff that they have to do within their business or, or establishment. You know, it would be a little more, it would be a lot better in, in, in saving time. So I would appear at your job site, you know, and it would only take 45 minutes to an hour. You leave what you're doing, come into the vehicle, you get your cut and you go back to what you're doing for me. That's, you know, it's a time saver for everybody. In terms of limitation, when I take my business, honestly, no. I've been to Port of Spain on Carnival Friday, trimming persons outside Marshall Monday. Um, there are persons who call me in Arima, and like, to me, I'm, I'm willing to go nationwide once somebody is willing to facilitate the prices. When asked about his goals, this is what Kyle had to say. So the ultimate goal for my business is, is being able to facilitate most businessmen or communities without a, 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 a proper barber. You know, I could go to communities, from community to community, like select certain days, and I say like one day I could be in Aruka, the next day I could be in Maracas, and like, you know, being nationwide and being recognized nationwide and being able to facilitate everybody within the space of time. We leave you with some words of advice from a young innovator. Don't let anyone discourage you. It is better to try and fail than fail to try. Just find your thing.